In this video, let's take a look at switch firmware upgrades. This demo will cover firmware compliance policies where you have all your devices in a group following the same compliance policy. We will also cover manual upgrades where you can select one or multiple switches to manually upgrade now. Finally, we will show you how to schedule upgrades for your six switches in Aruba Central so they can be upgraded at a later date. In Aruba Central, if you go to your desired group, maintain firmware, switches, you will be able to see your switches, the current firmware release, and the recommended version. Let's start by looking at firmware compliance policies, where you can set compliance. You click here, you can enable set firmware compliance. You can select your desired software release and select for it to be installed at a later date. You can select to automatically reboot to complete the upgrade or do it manually. So let's save it for now. You can see it's been updated. Schedule, it will be upgraded on the set date. So let me show you manual upgrades next. So disable compliance. You can select your desired switch. It could be one, it could be multiple. Click on the upgrade button and select your desired software to be upgraded to. With this option, you can even choose to download your firmware image from a custom location instead of download it from central. So we can choose now to upgrade the devices, select upgrade. You will see that it has initiated firmware upgrades and started to download from central into the switches. If you click on audit trail, you can see what's happening, the image that you're trying to upgrade from to the target destination. While waiting for the manual upgrades to finish here, yeah, let me show you scheduled upgrades. Select your desired software release, set later date and your desired date. Select automatically reboot to complete the upgrade and we can schedule. If you hover over the status, you can see the date is going to be scheduled to upgrade. If you want to, you can also cancel the upgrade. Under the audit trail, you can actually see if the firmware image is downloaded successfully, they will prompt you to reboot it if you did not select automatically reboot. So under firmware switches, you can see that it's asking you to reboot it. You can click on the reboot button to proceed. So after the devices have completed reboot, you will see the new firmware version here. Under audit trail, you can see that the upgrade is complete after reboots.